In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to convert your 2D designs into 3D animations with incredible detail. The mock-up has a wind effect built in to give your animation a realistic feel. The video is beginner-friendly and Blender. The software we will be using is completely free. Start off by searching for Blender in Google. You will be taken to this download page where you are able to download and install Blender for free. Ensure you select the right version depending on if you are using Mac or PC. Next, open up the mock-up folder. If you haven't already, you can download it from the link in the description. Open up the Photoshop file titled, Place Your Designs Here. You'll see different sections of a t-shirt spread across a page. Each section is labeled clearly. The smaller sections at the bottom are for the labels. Hide the information layers and drag and drop your designs onto the file. If you would like to change the color of your design, select the layer, choose FX, then Color Overlay, and finally select the color of your choice. Place your designs in the position you would like them. With the labels, you need to flip the logos horizontally and also vertically for the larger neck label. This is to ensure they show in the correct orientation. Next, unhide the t-shirt color layer. You should adjust the color of this layer to the color you would like your t-shirt base to be. To do this, left-click the layer, press on your keyboard and adjust the color. For this example, we are going to leave it white. Go to File and save the Photoshop document. Go to the download folder and you will see two Blender files. The no tags file only has the neck tag, and the other Blender file has the hem and sleeve tags too. Before we start working on the shirt, Let's change some important settings. Go to Edit, Preferences, then select System and choose your GPU. Close the Preferences window. Go to the tab seen on the video, change the render engine to Cycles, and the device to GPU Compute. Next, to preview your designs on the shirt, select this option at the top of the viewport. As you can see, the designs are projected onto the shirt in relation to where we place them on the Photoshop file. You can scroll through the timeline to view the shirt from different angles and ensure all the designs are placed in the correct position. Currently, the logos on the sleeve and hem of the shirt are upside down, so let's go back to the Photoshop file to fix that.
Let's save the Photoshop file again and go back to Blender to check out its looking. The logos are now in the correct orientation. On reflection, I think it would be better for the tags to be a different color to the shirt. So let's go back to the Photoshop file and change them to black. Here I am just hiding the color change effect so that the logos go back to white. This way they will appear on the black tags. Save the Photoshop file once more and go back to Blender to see how our changes look. Now the tags stand out. As you can see, the mock-up is completely customizable, so get creative with your designs. Now it's time to render out the animation. Over in the top right corner, you can select which camera you would like to use. One is for close-ups and one is for a full shot. Select the green icon to use the different cameras. Next, go to the output settings and select the drop down arrow. As default, the mockup is set to export a transparent PNG sequence. This is so that the render will have a transparent background. But to use this, you need a program such as After Effects or Premiere Pro. If you would like to export to video instead, change PNG to FFmpeg and set encoding to MPEG 4. Next, select the folder icon and choose where you want to save your animation to. One other piece of information I'd like to share before we render is about samples. Samples control the level of detail your animation will have. The higher the samples, the better quality your animation will be. If you would like to speed up the render process, you can decrease the number of samples. Finally, select Render, and then Render Animation. It typically will take a few hours to complete, so I'd suggest leaving your computer to run and coming back to it later. Do not close the render window until all 150 frames have exported. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.